So what is the state uh, and props in uh, ReactJS? State and props, for example, uh, state uh, we can manage internally. And for example, if, if you want to send the data from one component to another, we need to send the data as a props. But uh, state we can't pass. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of state? Purpose to uh, to maintain the like uh, uh, it's it's kind of variable you can say like uh, uh, React know okay. like every change of state uh, component should uh, render the content without uh, like refresh and this kind of stuff. Okay, so in functional uh, component, mm -hmm. what is the difference between normal variable and uh, state variable? yeah like uh, for example if we are using normal javascript variable and that variable is uh, going to change that that will not reflect on our own ui but uh, if we are changing the state uh -huh. uh, th that will uh, reflect okay okay uh, um so what is the main difference between class component and functional component when so, you will use uh, functional component and when will you use a uh, class component the main any, difference any, is, any key difference between the main difference is like uh, there is no life cycle method in functional component all the life cycle methods are handled by that hooks uh, like use effect but in class component uh, okay. uh, uh, there are life cycle methods like componented mount componented date and should update this uh, type of life cycle method but in functional component there is no life cycle methods and i think for uh, uh, compiler first uh, class uh, class based component first convert into function based component then it will uh, compile only like uh, that is the advantage of using functional component oh, what you are saying uh, like uh, class component will convert it to functional component yeah during compilation time okay so that's the disadvantage for uh, class, class component, right? Yes, yes. Because there is extra okay. converting. Okay. Also, like function component so are easy to the, understand. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go on. Function component are like easy to understand. It's normal JavaScript function. So code readability is more in function component. And there, there is. Uh, uh, hooks we can use in functional component, but uh, in class based component, we can't use hooks. Okay. So, what is unidirectional data flow in uh, React JS means? Unidirectional data flow means like uh, we can pass the data from parent to child only. Like, data is uh, grow from parent to child, child to another child, uh, not from child to parent. That means like unidirection. Okay, so how will you handle data binding with this unidirectional data flow pattern? So, so basically, let's assume you need mm -hmm. to pass some value from. Uh, sorry to interrupt. So, for, for example, we need to pass some data from child to parent. Mm -hmm. So, in Angular, we use uh, a two way data binding uh, to achieve this. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here in uh, React, we have unidirectional data flow pattern. So, uh, how will you pass data from child to parent? So, there is a way, like you can say it a callback function. We can define the callback function and we can pass the data from child to parent. Apart from this, like uh, this is like a basic approach. We can use callback methods. Other than this, like uh, we can manage the states globally. Like we can use context hook for that. So we are, from okay. that we, we can uh, pass the data from anywhere. We can uh, get the state from one file and we can use that state okay. all over the application. Okay, okay. Great, okay. Have you used Redux? Uh, like, uh, you mentioned in... about context. Context mm -hmm. is very good, okay. Uh, have you used Redux other than context? Other than context, uh, I like uh, six months I worked in one project, I used uh, Mobex state tree. It's also like a global state management system. 
but uh, redux i did not get chance mm-hmm. so in mobex state tree and uh, like uh, context i have used for globally okay so what is the use of uh, use effect hook use effect hook like like same uh, i as i earlier told this will work as a life cycle method for example if we want any component to render first time only then we can use use effect with the array dependency as blank then the component will render only first time and if you want to like uh, uh, on every state change the component should re render then we can pass that state into array dependency so uh, that component will re uh, re render on that state change Mm-hmm. Uh, apart from this like we can add some cleanup activity like uh, after uh, uh, like if the component is unmounting we can uh, add some return statement into use effect so that will call after unmounting of that component okay okay got it um okay so um have you heard about render pro- render uh, prop sorry your voice is breaking render prop render, render prop. prop have you heard about it yeah in react render prop mm, no okay so okay uh, how will you inherit something like um, in uh react js everything is a functional component or class component right so everything is a component basically mm-hmm. so uh, let's assume we have a scenario so in normal hooks uh, system or uh, in java or any other language what we used to do is we define a parent class okay so uh, like uh, for example um, we define animal class like it has four legs uh two eyes like that we have a common property in uh, parent class and mm-hmm. we will inherit those features into our uh, uh, specific uh, child class like for example if we need a cat class we will inherit animal class which will have all the common properties there cat class <clears throat> you will uh, you will uh, develop the uh, um only uh, cat features in that particular class right Mm-hmm. so this is the way we used to inherit uh, parent and child class how will you achieve the same scenario in react since we have everything as component here so how will you inherit let's assume uh, we are going to develop five components okay mm-hmm. uh, in our application five five pages of five component all five component has the same uh, set of uh, properties or uh, features uh, common across this five uh, Uh, component so you don't need to repeat the same piece of code so how will you achieve this mm, like one way is like uh, we we can create a custom hooks so uh, we can create a custom hook of that component and we can use that hook everywhere we we need uh, that okay so other than like uh, I, i did not remember the name of that give me an example for custom hook can you explain me more about custom hook for example if we have a button right uh, th- uh, that button should have a blue color okay and that button we need to use uh, all over the application right so for, okay. for that uh, for that button uh, we, we can create a separate component and uh, we can create hook for that like use button so uh, that use button uh, we can place in a common folder and we, we can use that use button all over the application like uh, we we can just pass the content of that button uh, and it will re- uh, render with the same styles and other css so there is no uh, no need to mm-hmm. define the css again and again okay so got it okay so this is the one so way this is the one way to achieve this what else uh, apart from this like uh, uh, i did not remember the name of that component uh, like uh, we, we can pass a uh, component itself higher order components you can say yeah 
ਕੰਪੋਨੈਂਟ so it will apply that css to uh, our component and return the modified component to us so, so that will work as a higher order component hoc you can say okay got it <clears throat> okay good okay okay what is spread operator in uh, javascript mm, spread operator is like uh, basically used to uh, push uh, the elements into a uh, javascript array for example if we have an array of 1 2 3 okay uh, and we, we want to you uh, add one more element like 4 so uh, instead of using dot push uh, we we can directly use three dots with the variable a comma 4 so it will automatically push 4 uh, 4 into an array okay what is a. the advantage of using uh, spread operator over push uh, what you are saying is in an array we have three elements 1 2 3 and uh, you need to add 4 uh, to this array okay mm -hmm. so we can achieve this by push function mm -hmm. why 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 are you using spread function what is the purpose of using spread function here a uh, spread operator here mm, i think in in react if if i am using a push dot push uh, uh, it will not work like it will push but uh, it will not reflect on the uh, ui itself but uh, with the spread uh, why Mm. I don't know like exact reason but uh, I noticed this. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what is virtual dom in uh, react and how it differs from real dom? like virtual dom means like uh, only uh, changes will re render for example if we have a page in that page there are four components top header side header footer and main window right and uh, mm, for example uh, this top header side header and footer will remain uh, always same all over the application right and if we uh, only main main window will will change so apart from uh, rendering all the four components again virtual in virtual dom only changes will re render like top top side and footer will remain same only changes will re render only main window will re render so that will like uh, uh, reduce the load time of our application okay 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 cool sahil uh, so um, in our next call um, i will assign you a task okay okay uh, so it's a react based task mm -hmm. and you have to complete it within 45 minutes okay are you comfortable with this round yeah yeah that will so you need like to share your screen and uh, you need to develop this uh, you can use google Mm -hmm. uh so it, it be a basic uh, um task mm -hmm. uh you need to use your uh, visual studio and mm -hmm. uh, need to develop it from scratch okay okay no problem so when